Hey, Michelle. Uh, just um, wanted to check in. Uh, Ellen said that uh, she missed you at that uh, charity dinner at the Fairmount last week, and uh, I guess uh, I was just hoping you were doing all right. Hey, just uh, letting you know that Mira got here safe and her things got here all right. So, um, yeah, she says your load is a lot lighter this year. Be nice to see you. Call me. Michelle, um, it's been six months. I know it's been a rough year, but uh, believe it or not, don't worry. Yeah, um, call me. Okay, call me. So, how was your week? It was good, actually. My dad was home for the whole weekend, which was a nice surprise. We went hiking. <laughs> I can't remember the last time we did that. Mm -hmm. Just him, me, and Frank over here. <laughs> so that was nice. And the next day, we just like watched TV together for a whole day. <laughs> so that was nice, too. Except when we were hiking, I fell and scraped my knee and it didn't bleed or hurt. I mean, at all. What do your doctors have to say? Well, my dad fired my doctors, so. Why? I don't know, you know my dad. No, but what was his concern? Well, when a stage three starts to show warning signs, you have to report it to the state. Yes, Clara, I understand that. But why now, specifically? He's worried I'm gonna be taken into protective custody or worse. You're not worried? As long as I stay out of the city, nobody bats an eye. Because I've got Frank. Hmm. Does that make you angry? I don't know. I guess. A little. I mean, not for me. It's just... Like, I guess I get a bit of leniency that other people don't because my dad's rich and most of the death walk population are homeless. But hey, at least they have me to yell about it on the internet. Clara, you are doing astonishing things. I can't tell you. I mean, I am so impressed with the work that you do. I'm on a ticking clock, so, you know. Yeah, well, isn't everyone? Sometimes I think that I'm wasting your time. I'm putting you in danger for no reason. I mean, it's been five years. I'd get by. It's not like I'm gonna get any better, so. Well, I would miss our Tuesday afternoons very much. Yeah, but you have a family. And any second I could just... Hey, Frank, um... Could I have a moment alone with Clara, please? Come on, that is the only door in or out. You will not lose control of the situation. Thank you. Look at me. See? I, I'm not scared of you. At all. And you have been worth every second I've spent with you. Thanks. I'm sorry, it's just... The end is coming. It's near. I believe thinking that way only gives it power. Yeah, but I'm losing sensation. My body is dying from the inside, and I don't even know how long I have left to say goodbye. Okay, we've spoken about this before, and we can work on those anxieties. But there are new drug trials every day. I, for one, really believe a cure is on its way. I don't think it is. I don't think that I'm gonna suddenly get my life back together. And I'm tired of pretending that we're just hurling towards some happy ending. Clara? I'm not gonna wait. I want to die and I need your help.